So this is where the lady gave me the assignment. I've got all the stuff. Do you think she'll love me now? Uh, the builder. Bop, I got you the things. You've done it? Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. Oh, I have to take a passenger? Looking at the horizon with a steeled certainty. You can return to these items later. Yo, yo, that's a bit toxic. Good riddance to you, Greater Marrow. I am onward bound. Okay. Can I discard her in the middle of the ocean? I don't know. I can check. I can... <laughs> I can discard her, Chet. Yes. I'm not going to, though. I know you want me to, but I'm not. I will find a way to break this game. And I... I... No, no. Well, I don't know if I can. Hold up. Yeah. No, I can definitely discard her. Discard her? <laughs> I just met her. Just do it real quick. I don't know if I can... No, I, I think I'm going to break everything. Hey, man. Don't... Fuck. Oh no. Oh, come on! Guys, the derping has commenced. I, I might be switching games momentarily. I would really like to figure out that stupid spiraling staircase, but... The moaning night. Nope. Ooh, close. Okay, one more hit, Loco. It was two more hits, I lied. <sighs> A blindfold mask. An eye occluding mask of unknown origin. Small cracks allow the wearer to see. Strengthens dark attacks, but also greatly increases damage sustained from dark. <laughs> God, this is so stupid. No, no, no. I'll go back. I'll go back to the Pope outfit. Okay, so that guy should not respawn. That's nice. So, I've killed the guy, but how in the world do I now go up? Maybe I go over there? I think I'll run until I fall down, which is over here. And then there was like a... a, a, a Oh, no, that's the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I figured it out. Turns out I walked in a circle. Okay, what about over here? Try down? It's got 18 appraisals. Try down? Oh, oh. No treasure ahead? No, I already did this. I think there are multiple spiraling staircases over here. And I'm not exactly sure what the solution is, but I've killed everything now. So I'm pretty sure there is only one way for me to die. And that is gravity. God. I thought that was the staircase we just came across. God, accidental comedic timing on point. Accidentally. I was typing, what happened? Wait, do you... Do you look at your keyboard while typing? Ha, loser! No, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Doesn't everyone do that? Wait, you look at your keyboard while typing? Really? Oh. Only sometimes. Yo, if you're gonna snipe me though, don't play a barcode. Nah. Hi, big fan. Oh god. I'm afraid people might be sniping sometimes. Yeah. Loco, it's me. I'm in the game. Ah, okay. You're all in the game now. I'm playing you, Loco? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Watch out, here comes the rush. It's my alt loco, it's me. If it's your alt, then why would you not be typing in the in-game chat? Why would you be typing in the Twitch chat? Do you love Twitch chat better than in-game chat? Twitch chat is full of grandmasters. This is true. 
You know, if you're gonna snipe me though, don't do one of those like hard counter builds, okay? Like that's where it gets really frustrating. If somebody snipes me and they're like, ha <laughs> he's going hatch first. I mean, technically not a hard counter to this build, assuming you play it well. That's the real problem though. Double overlord spotted on the minimap, guys. We're Gucci. That's what they say, right? That's what the cool kids say? We're drippy. No, I don't think that's what they say. We are lit AF. For real, for real. Sheesh! Wanted to say I'm a huge fan, not just a fan. <laughs> what does that even mean? This guy's playing mental warfare right now, guys. I'll give him another heart. He's not just a regular fan. He's not a normie fan. Will you keep streaming StarCraft 2? Yo, yo, I have played StarCraft before, okay? I don't think this interview that's going on right now bodes a lot of good for my opponent's strategy. I can already smell the Zerklings hiding in the corner of his base. He's actually not. He's doing a very normal build. I am definitely not socially awkward, I promise. I know how to interact with humans. How do you do, fellow humans? Oh, sh that's a roach horn? I did not need to... That was supposed to not be a roach horn. <laughs> that was supposed to be an Evo chamber. <laughs> okay, chat. Uh, new strategy? We make roaches, I guess. Dude, how can they stream snipe me if I don't even know what I'm doing? How can they figure out what I'm doing when I don't? New strategy, rush B, rush B. Okay, everyone. Wrong button. I don't know what my bad speech button is on my soundboard. I got Brenda! Goals! Brenda's dead! Everybody rejoice! Okay, um, I... Mm, the question is, when do we go for a push? I guess I'm gonna go for a push when these roaches spawn over here. Or will I? I don't know, guys. Nobody knows. He said it well played, but I honestly uh, don't think I deserve that one. But it's okay. Loco, Loco sniping his fan base, especially the huge type. Yeah. You lost Mr. Steelio Beef? I knew it. The accidental roach rush. <laughs> I really confused him as well as myself with my roach push. Task failed successfully? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what we can do? We can browse Reddit in the meantime. That's a good point. We can always browse Reddit. StarCraft 2 Zerg 3D printed models. Damn, Brenda is a model. Look at her. Ooh, Brenda looking good. It's a bad quality picture though. What am I looking at? Oh, sh okay, hold up. This is kind of like uh, meerkats are cute taking a picture. I can usually almost make out what's going on on the photograph. Same deal over here. It looks pretty good. But I think it would look even better if the picture, I don't know. For some reason, it looks very grainy. This looks like Warhammer 40K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it definitely is. Slash R slash StarCraft. Watch a $500,000 tournament run by the Saudis or skip the biggest tournament of the year. This is very true, man. This is slash R slash StarCraft right now. Help! Is StarCraft 2 still a reasonably active game? No. It is very, very dead. <laughs> the typo that saved StarCraft? Thank you, Gaben. Thank you, Gaben. We love you very much, Gaben. I know I've given you a lot of money, but I'm glad that I could. Thank you, Gaben. My favorite part about the name Counter-Strike 2 is that it implies there was only ever one Counter-Strike before it. That's my favorite part about it. You may think that was a game before Global Offensive. You're wrong. Why are Marines so weak? Yeah, guys. Why are Marines so weak? Jeez. Worst unit in the game. There's no salt on the battle net forms lately? Oh no. That is an actual sign of the game dying. When the battle net forums are no longer salty. Guys, we need to inject some more drama onto the battle net forums. I'm not sure. I haven't been on the battle net forums in a long time. It always depresses me a little bit when I am there. 
Battle.net. Generally, um, the Battle.net forums are a lovely and supportive place, but sometimes there are some people that get relatively upset about playing the video game. Loco, say something we can clip and put on the forums. No, 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 no. You wouldn't just clip me out of context now, would you, Fear Dragon? Terrans on the forums are still salty. But we had a Terran versus Terran Grand Finals at IEM Karavitsa. Surely, that should make them feel less upset. No? You're still upset? Oh, okay. Reasonable. We should buff every Terran unit. Yeah. Like, why do Terrans only ever get to make, like, one Reaper chat? Maybe two. Maybe in Terran versus Terran they make a couple more, but Terran versus Terran is the only balanced matchup, right? We should definitely be buffing the Reaper. They should start with extra grenades, two charges, and plus one additional damage. Health? Also health? Hmm. Like, they always say, fear the Reaper, man. But I'll be honest with you, I don't fear them at all. Not even a little bit. We should go back to fearing the Reaper, man. What is this, Adzilla? <laughs> you made loco coins? <laughs> Amazing. I love it. Thank you so much, Chad. Wow. Woo! That's what I always wanted. How did you know? Okay. Oh! That was an unnecessarily <laughs> passionate noise. <laughs> Look at focus! I got hit by the laser, okay? <laughs> laser, man! Clipped? Yeah, of course you clipped it, game. I'm not surprised. Oh. Did I? <gasps> I didn't know that you could do that. Oh, sh He just took a lot of damage, guys. Okay. I'm gonna top myself off because of it. Don't do the laser! No! Not the laser! Okay, I'm just gonna stay... ...at a bit of a distance. I think I can get a hit in another way. I think this is my safest spot. He does one more through the center. I got a hit. Okay, we're good. I'll top myself off. Another one of those attacks that can kill me in one hit. Did you just do your normal attacks, dude? Come on, do your do your thing that we practiced. There you go, little charge. Yo, it's because of that very passionate noise that I made, guys. If I didn't make that noise, there's a very good chance I wouldn't have gotten it. You could really tell I was with the game there. <laughs> Darkita Mida put up some fight for literally having mid in its name, and an opening attack apparently powered by sadness. Yeah, his opening attack is not as impressive. Hey, that was a good attempt. I actually did really well. I was happy with that one, okay? I didn't get greedy at the end. I... Just f them up. Clap Thank you, Sayazani, for the 25. Thank you, Bubba's, for the 10. I appreciate it. I didn't even use my uh, Tears of Denial this time. Uh, ah, nice. Okay, I don't know what noise I made. Okay, it was a. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna listen to it. Let's see, what did I do? On the nose. That one was a bit on the nose, I agree. Okay. Oh! <laughs> that was. That is the longest clip of myself I've ever watched in my life, man. I'll be honest with you, um, I've been on TikTok a little too much lately, and I got bored halfway through that clip. It wasn't really that bad. In my mind, it was worse, actually. In my mind, it was much worse. Why did the clip need to be that long? Yeah, Silver League uh, Twitch clip. You tried your best, it, you got the content. Editing, though, 3 out of 10. As in non-existent. It's the build-up, the context.
Yeah. The foreplay, one might say. Can I cut down one more tree? 25 energy, I believe. I believe. 10. 4. 1 energy! Min-maxing it, boys! Just don't swing your axe, loco. Go straight to sleep. <laughs> okay, do it. Where's the rooster? Yo, I woke up without the cock. Come on, man. Bath? What's that? This is the women's locker room. You can't go in there. Yo, what year is it right now? Hello. Yikes. Oof. That's how you get canceled. Ooh, dude. Trying to shower with your clothes on? What are you trying to say, uh, Mr. Developer? Does this actually do anything? If I take this off, does it actually... Can I shower with my glasses on? Well, I'm still wearing clothes? Oh, I'm wearing my boots. My rings? I'm not wearing anything! There are lockers? I don't understand shit. <laughs> uh, love that. What am I doing here? Go to the bottom right? I am! It doesn't do anything. I can sit on the chair. Oh, you mean over here? What am I looking at? What the? Where is this? I don't understand. I've n What? Why would anyone ever jump inside of a body of water like that? That's insane. I've never been here before, no. Look at your energy. Oh, if I sit still, it goes up. <sighs> Welcome to my hot tub stream, chat. You didn't think you were ever gonna get this, did you? Changing into a cute bikini when we meet the sub goal. Okay. I don't think I needed to do any of this. Really? <laughs> that was the worst sellout I've ever done. <laughs> My character couldn't enter the, 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 the changing room, guys. Where's the bikini loco? I was joking, man. I don't I don't I don't have bikini uh, guys. You got scammed. <laughs> the scam train, dude. Like, why do I always show up when you're doing weird? That's my secret, I'm always doing weird. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Bunny. That is a big sub bomb. Casual 29 gifted subs is huge. You said the words that Bunny always wanted to hear. You've used your last piece of bait. Well, I did on stream as well, didn't I? The game is so in sync with everything, man. It's insane. How do they do it? My bait is just... Yeah, I'm all out. Uh, Rushy, come on, man. Why would you ever even make a joke like that? That's insane. I would never do that. You're just a problematic kind of guy. Yeah. I see you reposting those things on Facebook every once in a while. Talking about controversial subjects on Twitter. Ay, 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 Rushy. Yo, I can give her a ring. Is that weird? I know we only just m met, but let's pretend it's lo Okay, I can. Would you like a melon? Ooh, Penny loves melons. I too love Penny's melon. No, 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 chat, chat, no. Is this life? Whoa, I didn't mean to give you that. I'm trying to... Is she closing shop? She's closing shop! Ay, ay, ay. 
Is this life? What is going on, Dragoon? No, this is not life. I am, as a matter of fact, recording this in the past to be broadcasted in the present moment so people can watch it in the future again as well with the VODs. Rumpus, you are in the future. You are the future, actually. Yeah. Look, since you're playing a Dark Souls game today, you should check out a mod that the guy did for Elden Ring. Okay, I'm gonna alt tab out. Poker player for life. I put Asmongold in Elden Ring. I think that's... <laughs> I think that's World of Warcraft, man. It's like a Warcrafty kind of vibe anyways, the armor. It's his paladin gear? Ah, I see. Amazing. I guess we have uh, World of Warcraft music and Elden Ring at the same time. It does look a little cursed, but yeah. That is really cool. Yeah, dude. The pauldrons Hello, are sick. Hey, what is going on, Papuch? First sub of the day. Welcome. Esmongold hates paladins. Oh, does he? My girlfriend made some cute clay for my birthday. That is pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie. That, that, uh, yeah, that definitely is a little cute. Those are some very blunt blades right there for that zealot. I'm not gonna lie. The zirkling also looks a little, but it's still really cute. It's a pool party. Ooh, a hot tub stream. The one you guys have been hoping for the entire time. Has anyone seen these before? Old StarCraft 1 pins. No, I have never seen these before. Interesting. I wonder if I can apply a lightning weapon in the same amount of time. Oh! Nicely done. That was... Yeah, 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 that was nicely done. No, 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 that wasn't the boss that killed me. No, 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 no. That was gravity. He does not seem to enjoy the fact that I also have a sparkle sword. Get out! Get out! Get out! I did not get out. Uh, in case you were wondering. I have too little stamina, guys. I really need to up my stamina. Okay, I want to hit him really bad, but I shouldn't. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, easy. Not even close. Wasn't even concerned. You guys were concerned? Not me. So, the most he does is three attacks in a row. So, you gotta come- Oh, you gotta almost guess. Oh, God. Itchy nose! Miyazaki- Okay. Itchy nose, man. I had to- Okay. I had to micro two controllers in real life. My biological controller and my physical one. The flesh is weak. Dude, I got debuffed in IRL. Miyazaki sometimes applies a debuff to the player, which um, is honestly very unfair. <sighs> Didn't die because of it, no. I had uh, no, that wasn't it. So I don't want to fall off. Okay, back off, back off. Loco, loco, you idiot. Sorry, I got greedy. Sometimes my hands don't do what my head wants, okay? The mind is willing, but the flesh is weak. <laughs> Sorry, I make myself laugh. It's kind of pathetic, I don't know why. Oh, okay, nice one, nice one. Yeah, okay, you got your pet dragon in, that's kind of mean. Ooh, we did that attack again. Yep. Nope, no loco. No, that ain't it. No, that ain't it, loco. Gamer thumb condoms. So basically these are like little things you slide over your fingertops to play on your screen. So sweat does, I, I, I can't, okay, I just, you can call me an elitist all you want. I'm sure they are legit. I'm sure they're good, but like, maybe this is my first sign of becoming an old man. 
but I don't even want to try it. <laughs> Maybe it's gonna be great. Maybe it's awesome. I don't know, guys. Back in my day, we used to mouse and keyboard, okay? I find controllers already one step too far, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. <laughs> esports with a controller? Nah. But I can get behind esports with a controller, okay? Most notably, most notably for, for example, um, fighter games. I think fighter games on a controller works really well. Rocket League or whatever on a controller. Yeah, yeah, I can get behind that. I find shooters on a controller, like Call of Duty esports or whatever the f I, I, I don't know, man. I can't aim for the life of me with a controller. And I feel like there's a reason for it. Yeah, there are some games out there that are great on a controller, but... Oh yeah, watchmakers use those things as well, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know some fighting games make their own custom, custom built arcade things. That's actually kind of cool, dude. Oh, is this the Ringed City area? Oh, I remember the Ringed City. Yeah, it is. This is where I died. This bridge, man. This bridge. Anyways, I don't want to be a gaming elitist, though, so you play whatever you like. I do just find aiming with a controller and a shooter kind of dicey. I also am not a big fan of mobile game esports, but I understand that both are very popular. Yeah, yeah, I remember this place. I remember this place. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, sh oh god, I'm collecting arrows. This went well. Yeah, Grandpa over there in the back is going nuts. Okay, this is the way forward, just not this way. Oh, come on, I was so close. I hesitated, I shouldn't have hesitated. Dude, I don't like this old man with his... Oh, jeez. Am I safe? Sort of? Grandpa, what are you doing? Oh, jeez. Murdering me, that's what you're doing. <laughs> He's strong! <laughs> Everything's insane in this game now. This is the, the worst part of the game, guys. And with worst part, I mean best part for viewers. Dude, how am I... Oh, God, he spawns over here, too? Are you insane? Grandpa's nuts! Okay, I'm not gonna go after Grandpa anymore. Stop it. Oh, jeez. He deals more damage than he used to. <laughs> Guys, I'm looking for a bonfire. Is the bonfire over here? Church Guardian Shiv. Okay. Don't know what I do with that. Yeah, I brought you back home. This is where you live. Now leave me alone. I swear it's somewhere over here, guys. But maybe it's on the opposite end of this lake. But then I have to go past Big Daddy again. With his skeletal archers or whatever the f*** it is. Wait, 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 wait. Is it over here? By that roof? Because I remember Madeir is somewhere in this area. The big dragon guy. Oh no, oh no, it happened again. It happened again. My game all tabbed, and I think you guys can still see me move, but my OBS crashed. Okay, I'm gonna have to restart my stream. I don't know if this is a safe place for me to hang out. I'm gonna all tap out. Okay, I'm gonna have to quickly restart it, guys, because I don't see my own stream, which is very annoying. This is only something that happens while playing Dark Souls 3. I don't understand why. I hope I don't die. Did I, did I do it? Hello gamers, are we good? Are we back? I can see myself move again. That's good. I do like moving. <gasps> My game shut itself down. No! My game's gone. Bro, why does Dark Souls 3...
That sucks. I'm gonna have to replay all of that? I did not save. No, my game suddenly disappeared. I did not save anything. I did not alt the four out of the game. I did not close the game. The game just closed itself. Oh no. Don't tell me I... I don't know where I am. The game saves regularly though, so I don't think it should be a problem. Oh, what? I didn't even know that was possible. I thought you would always... Huh? I did not find this. Miyazaki felt so bad, they brought me to the bonfire. That makes no sense. Huh? Okay, well that is not what I expected. I expected that my save game would be corrupted. Yo, I just found a new speedrunning strategy. Yeah, I must have passed the checkpoint because I was so close. That's wild. Okay, well, hey, we made it. Look, if you click your mouse outside the screen, it can minimize. So what happens is I am playing the game, and I am holding my controller. I am not using my mouse and keyboard. I'm not doing anything. Um, and suddenly the game all taps itself out. That's what it looks like. It looks like it all taps itself out. And then OBS crashes. And then usually I can all tap back into the game, and I did that the first time around too. But then I had to restart OBS again, so I guess I alt tapped out, and then Dark Souls 3 closed itself. It's really weird. I, I don't know I don't know why that happens, but um Yeah, I don't know. I haven't had that like I've been streaming for years. I haven't had that with any other games. I played this game in the past as well though, and I don't remember that ever being a thing. So I don't I don't know what it yeah, I don't know what causes it. I can't tell. But anyways, it's working again now and we didn't lose everything, so that's nice. Loco, you can replicate Casey's breakfast pizza. I don't even know what Casey's breakfast pizza looks like. What do you put on breakfast pizza? Help, I can't find the store-bought bagged bacon pieces. What do you mean? You can just cut up bacon. Oh, I'm already bothered. Okay. Refrigerated pizza crust. Olive oil. Or, as Gordon Ramsay says it, olive oil. Olive oil. We'll start off with olive oil. Start off with the olive oil. Into a pan. Olive oil. A couple of tablespoons of olive oil. <laughs> Just a, a touch. Sprinkling of extra virgin olive oil. Heat the olive oil and fry the arancini until golden brown. Olive oil. Olive the man doesn't pronounce the I in the word oil. Olive oil. Which bothers me more than I'm willing to admit, actually. Yeah. Tidying up of butter, olive oil in. Large eggs, salt and pepper, salted butter, Libby country sausage gravy. What the f Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, we're making... <laughs> we're making scrambled eggs, and then we put the sausage gravy? What's in here? Oh, there's little bits of sausage in the sausage gravy. Okay, I see. You know, this will probably taste good, but call it a pizza. I feel like that is a bit of a stretch. It, no, it's, yeah, this is, I mean, they're using a pizza dough, but a pizza dough is literally the same as pretty much every other dough out there, right? So like, it's just the, the, the quantities that are, I mean, it's gonna be tasty. It'll be tasty, sure. This is, it's, yeah, it's more like a sausage pie type of thing, sure. I mean, it'll be good. Yeah, I'd eat it. That's not the problem. To be fair, you can take a pizza base like that and basically make anything. Just don't tell the Italians. The Italians of the stream right now, I mean, they would be typing if they weren't furiously making hand gestures at the monitor. But, yeah, uh, you know. It's kind of like uh, bread. You could make anything. You just had Wendy's French toast and chicken nuggets for breakfast. <laughs> I don't even know where to label chicken nuggets, man. We already discussed in the past that donuts are not a breakfast food. Chicken nuggets also not a breakfast food, guys. 
Now, I'm not really a breakfast food gatekeeper, though, so if you like it, fair enough. Donuts are only considered a breakfast food in the United States, guys. Apparently, from what I understand, there was some aggressive marketing in the 80s or something that made it a breakfast food. No, puffertjes are also not a breakfast food. <laughs> One popular thing, though, that is from the States that I've never had before is like, what was it, chicken and waffles? Like fried chicken and waffles for breakfast? I've never had that in my life, but I'm intrigued. It sounds like a very strange combination, I'll be honest with you. Yo, this is a bouncy fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 I'm getting wrecked by a fish. No. F you, fish. I don't want to be beat by- I got beaten by a fish! It's embarrassing, my whole reputation. <sighs> you grind the StarCraft ladder for years, reach Grandmaster League, then get beaten by a fish. Yo, these fishes are insane, man! Okay, okay, yeah, I don't know, stay. Easy. A 35 inch pike? That was my nickname in college, Chet. Yeah. I'm just saying, I need a better pole. Mm. It's not what they said in college. Okay, I'll go down to uh, Willy. He sells poles. It's appropriate. I'm gonna go to Willy. What do you mean, X? Elliot, what's up? We don't talk to Elliot. He was talking to. Uh, Whatever her name was. There, her! I married her when I first played this game. I don't remember her name, though. Do you like... Ah, Leia. Right, I knew that. <sighs> it must have been a good marriage. It was mostly for watering crops. It, <laughs> it turned out to be very one-sided. Whoa, whoa! This one's mental, man! Whoa, what the f Okay, that was a gamer fish right there. Oh, the green bar for fishing goes up based on your fishing level? I see. I'm using the clicking method now, rather than holding down the mouse button. Yo, are you fish shaming me right now, light switch? Because if I didn't know any better, I thought you were fish shaming me. ChatGPT wrote a <laughs> watch circle jerk post on why the Seiko 5 is superior to Rolex? That's amazing. Seiko 5 is a killer watch, man. Now, is it superior? Depends on- depends on the goals. Depends on, on, you know, the aim. If you want to flex on people? Unlikely. <laughs> Why even own a Rolex when the Seiko 5 exists? Greetings, fellow horological aficionados of slash r slash watches circle jerk. As a long-time connoisseur of fine timepieces, I have pondered upon one of the greatest enigmas of our era. Why do people even bother with Rolex watches when the almighty Seiko 5 exists? After all, we are all aware that Seiko 5 is the pinnacle of horological perfection. I've come up with a few possible explanations for this phenomenon and I'd like to share them with you. Lack of awareness. It is possible that Rolex owners simply definitely... <laughs> Status symbol? Compensating? Unfilled desire for a NATO strap. This is for real. This is actually written by chat GPT Because this this is perfect for this particular subreddit Unfulfilled desire for a NATO strap. I it is no secret that a NATO strap is the ultimate accessory for any watch and Rolex watches Just don't have the same connection with NATO Dude, that is amazing. That is scary accurate. Actually. This is really impressive. Of course, we all understand that it's difficult to complete or compete rather with the sheer brilliance of the Seiko 5. And as members of this enlightened subreddit, is there a duty to spread the word about the Seiko 5 unmatched excellence? That is so funny. So, fellow horological enthusiasts, let us bend together and show the world that the Seiko 5 is the one true watch to rule them all. Share your thoughts on this Rolex conundrum in the comments below. And remember, Seiko 5 forever. <laughs> it's so good. That is so funny. Yeah, it's kind of scary, but <laughs> I love these two lads over here as well. That's... This is just... I don't know. This whole subreddit cracks me up, man. It is so funny. Seiko 5 is incredible bang for buck, man. <laughs> 
Like, some of the content on this subreddit writes itself. Just as chuffed as his ancestors. Feeling connected to my ancestors today who rode on railroads built by the denim class. <sighs> Have you ever thought about strapping a watch around your, your ankle and then posting it on Reddit, guys? If not, you're missing out. Look, have you seen the verification thingy on Twitter? The verification thingy. Uh, I paid for Twitter Blue. I, I paid for Twitter Blue a couple weeks ago. Uh, now I'm publicly being shamed. Every once in a while, people... people. Uh, let me see if I can find one. Every once in a while, people tweet me this great image. This one? <laughs> I don't know why, but it's pretty great. Yeah, it's a pretty great meme. I, I did indeed pay for Twitter, yes. I, d I did pay for Twitter Blue. There's a lot of angry people on Twitter, man. I quite like Twitter. So basically the way they do it right now, and this is kind of dirty, honestly. So basically they, they publish the algorithm, right? Essentially what it comes down to is that if you post stuff on Twitter and you have Twitter Blue, you have more reach. That's the TLDR. Like more people see your when you pay for Twitter than if you don't pay for it, which is very I don't really know if I, you know, expect Twitter to be here for the long run, but yeah, I guess, you know, um, it's pay to win now, yeah. Elon hard-coded his post to show first for everyone? Really? El I don't- I don't ever see Elon's tweets, though. I don't- I don't follow Elon on Twitter. I never see a sh unless somebody that I follow retweets it, which rarely happens. He was trashing newspapers lately? I don't think you should follow Elon Musk on Twitter, guys. If you want more drama in your life, you should, but unless you don't want it. What's this? So they published they published the the algorithm, right? Hold up. Elon? Author is power user? Author is Elon? Author ID feature? So his own gets featured as long as the author is Elon? <laughs> Author is power user. Author is Democrat. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, there's only there's only one country in the world that has politics. For those of you unfamiliar, some people think there's multiple countries on the planet. That would be wrong. Okay, those are just countries that aren't American states yet. Uh, interesting. So there's the entire here. If you wanna, if you wanna dive in, here's the entire Twitter algorithm. You live in the American state of Germany. See you soon. You're welcome, Europe. <laughs> yeah, Twitter has become a bit of a meme. But the thing is, guys, what the f*** is the alternative? Like, what are we, what's the alternative? Are we gonna go to Facebook? No. Are we gonna go to Instagram? I mean, they, they can coexist. Are we gonna go to TikTok? Yeah, let's go to TikTok. That's a great idea. This would be the perfect opportunity for a competitor to show up and scoop up the entire market. But while there have been a couple of social media names here and there, uh, none of them, um, none of them are particularly interesting. Pornhub? Pornhub is your favorite social media? I don't think Pornhub is going to replace Twitter. Hot take. Hot take. Friendster comes back? Yeah, maybe that's what we need. LinkedIn is the worst dating app? Link yeah, LinkedIn is not a very good dating app. Although LinkedIn is actually pretty exciting. I mean, not very useful for what I do for a living, but from what I understand, LinkedIn is actually like an S-tier social media if it's like in your, you know, niche, if that's what you do for a living and you can make use of LinkedIn, apparently it's amazing. I don't know. Nobody, nobody in, in esports really does much on, 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 on LinkedIn. But yeah. Time for Discord to steal the market? I, I don't know, man. I don't really like Discord all too much. It's convenient for chat servers and for private messaging and all that. But I've been saying this for years. It's a really confusing app to use. I am a bit of a boomer when it comes to navigating social media and different programs and stuff. I can oftentimes not find ch And I've been using Discord for a very long time. I understand now kind of how it works, but it is overly complex. Like, you know how like social media or like programs, they kind of start with like one base feature and then they like add stuff to it and they add stuff to it and they add and it like at some point it just becomes really bloated. Discord has been removing some features again, but like for a while it was it was a disaster. It's just getting worse. Yeah, it's just feature creep. Exactly. It's, it's just it becomes very bloated.
But they seem to be trying to work on that. That's why I do like Twitter, though. I don't know. I that That is, I guess, what I like about Twitter. It's just... It's a thing. And it just has messages and images. And it's very straight. It's very simple, right? That's a maybe why, why I do quite like it. It's, uh... I don't really care too much about it, but... I don't know. It's kind of fun. You do have to kind of curate your Twitter followers, though. If you don't, um... It is gonna be so negative. Loco, have you seen the Balenciaga Harry Potter meme? <laughs> no. I have not. The Balenciaga Harry Potter meme? What is this? What am I looking at? What do I- I- I just- What am I looking at? This is a model from Balenciaga? Oh wait, no, this is AI. Hold up right now. Balenciaga? Wait. You are Balenciaga, Harry. <laughs> What's going on? What? It's <laughs> so stupid. What? <laughs> Amazing, yes. They look very good. It's very disturbing, yeah, for sure. Did you just link me a short? Did you just link me a vertical video? Okay, fine. I feel like linking vertical videos should be an insta ban from the channel. Like, right now, you guys are watching a landscape live stream of a guy watching a vertical video. It's real. like, this is the worst way to consume content. The fact that Winter makes vertical videos. Okay, I do also make, well, I don't make them, but Mugetsu Gabriel in the chat makes them. What am I doing with my life? This was the video? Dislike. Horrible. Oh, I need to log in first. Okay, you'll be safe for now, Winter. It is that apparently when I click the link from OBS, I, I am not logged into my Google account, but would have disliked otherwise. <sighs> right away. I thought today's video was really good, actually, man. I posted it everywhere. This is what Mugetsu put together. Um, it needs to boot up, guys. One second. This is from uh, the... Uh, what's it called? Hogwarts Legacy I'm playing a Slytherin. Are all cannon rushers from Slytherin? Yes. Cannon rushers, proxy gators, and then, you know, the turtle skytles guys. <laughs> the StarCraft 2 sorting ceremony. Please no protals. Please no protals. Please no protals. Interesting, interesting. Cowardice mixed in with... <laughs> I, th I think it's pretty funny, guys. I think, uh, yeah, you know what? I actually, c I'm kind of slowly warming up to vertical videos. Some of them have even been getting some views as well, particularly on Instagram. I don't know why Instagram of all places, but the Instagram videos actually get decent views. Yeah, it's like 20,000, 25,000. Yeah, they're actually, like, it's actually pretty legit numbers. But it's very random though. Like some do really well and some do really poorly and I really can't tell why. The VTuber reel has over 9,000. Good. Good. I'm very happy that the VTuber reel did very poorly. This one? Yeah, this one did terribly. Okay, let's have a look. So Gabe edits some of my videos. He edits all of the videos for my second channel. This is what Gabe considers quality content. I don't get it! I'm very glad that this video did poorly. I was a little afraid that, like, this would be the one video that would randomly get a million views. You know what I mean? Like, if this would be the video that randomly gets picked up by the algorithm and does incredibly well, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't know what I was doing with my life. But I'm glad to see that the video did poorly. Yeah. At least, you know, it didn't do... It didn't... It did, it did average. It did average. I dodged the bullet, yeah. The cat video, also not exciting, but that cat video did much better. I don't understand. I, I don't get it. Like, vertical video is very random. Sometimes they do 10 times as good as other times. And I, I can't I can't figure out why. It's a different cat? No, it's the same cat. Keep track of the time of the day you post, Loco. I post at the same time, most of the time. Please tell me this is a real picture, Selderick. Selderick, please tell me that this is a real picture of the Swedish king. Please tell me this is not made by an AI. I would very much so like to believe that this is real. It's AI. There have been a lot of great pictures of the Pope with AI, man. Not, not just the one with the jacket, but like a lot of other ones as well that I've seen pop up on the internet. Loco, are you worried that with the appearance of AI, you will be replaced? 
Actually, yes! Guys, somebody, somebody tweeted me. I think after I streamed on Saturday. Or at least that's when I saw it. Hey, Loco, guess what? You don't need the chat anymore. Okay, so this is chat GPT. Let's simulate a typical chat history of a regular stream on Twitch of Loco on a Friday afternoon. Don't forget to set typical nickname people use and add some emojis. You guys are being automated, okay? You think I am being replaced? You're being replaced. Sure, here's a simulated chat history of a typical Loco stream. Loco starts the stream with the usual intro music and greetings. Loco TV, hey guys, welcome back to another stream. How's everybody doing today? Smiling face with sunglasses emoji. Gamergirl91, hey Loco, doing good, just got off work. Thumbs up emoji. SC2Pro69, that is a nickname you guys would 100% have. As we all know, they're, yeah, no, those the girls don't exist in much. But SC2Pro69, realistic, yes. Sup Loco, ready to see some sick games today? Fire emoji. Zerk main 420, let's go. Zerk emoji. Awesome, glad to have you all here. Today we're going to be playing some ladder games and maybe checking out some community replays. Nerd phase emoji. Terran Tactics, can't wait to see those pro strats in action. Protals power, hope you show us some sweet Protals builds today. Zerkling Rush, I'm just here to watch the chaos unfold. Honestly, I gotta say, the AI does a better job not making any typos. There's, this is too much punctuation and in general just... Too many apostrophes and all. It, it's not very... Anyways. All right, let's get started with our first game. Game controller emoji. Loco starts playing a ladder game and the chat reacts to the action. Chat. Bailing burst. <laughs> Holy crap. That was a sick micro move. Terran OP. Damn, that Terran is getting wrecked. Protos Master. Loco, can you explain why you made that unit choice? Great question, Protos Master. I chose that unit because it's good against the opponent's composition. Thumbs up emoji. Chat. SC2 fanboy. Loco, you make playing StarCraft look so easy. Zerkling army. Another victory for the swarm. Protos fanatic. I'm gonna try out that build in my next game. Thanks for the kind words, guys. Alright, let's check out some community replays now. Wow, that drop play was insane. I didn't even know that you could do that with banelings. Loco, can you slow down a bit? I'm trying to take notes here. Protos novice. <laughs> you know what my favorite part is? That AI thinks, right? Chat GPT, you guys are complete simps. Sorry, it had to be said, okay? It's analyzed the chat, and this is what it's come up with. I didn't want to call you out like that, but this is what the AI... Yeah. Anyways, wow, that drop play was insane. Uh, where are we? Another great stream, Loco. Thanks for keeping us entertained. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I'll see you next time. A waving hand emoji. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I am being automated. You're being automated. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Loco, you suck. Oh, there you go. You're proving I'm not... You're not... Yeah, okay, I see. You're proving you're not an AI. You guys are better at posting emojis, though, than ChatGPT. Yeah. That was no backseat gaming in the AI either, guys. That was no low hot. No, no low hot either, no. What is... What is this? What did you just link? What is... I don't remember this. No. This is so stupid. This is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. <laughs> He's always watching. I used this picture for a highlight video thumbnail. No, I used another picture. It was a picture with Bernie. What does Bernie do these days? I haven't heard of Bernie in a long time. Oh, he's in his 80s now? Oh, he's in his 80s now. He's still doing- yeah, he's still doing politics. Prime time to be a politician. <laughs> Late 70s, early 80s. That's- that's where you peak. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I can't- I can't figure out if you're a human or a robot. I don't get it. Feeling blue on Twitch tonight? It's all good strategist. Grab a bulk of pork champs for the show. We can't all be US residents. Kappas in arms strategist. Cheer up, buttercup. It's not a party without the global fam. Big love to you both. I can't figure out if this is a bot or just a human trying- I- I can't get it. Yeah, we need to send him a captcha. Can somebody link a captcha in the chat? It looks like they're copying from chat GPT. Yeah, it really does. Somebody out there is having a blast watching this stream though, trying to figure out what's going on. But there is a reaction. Wait. He got timed out for 10 minutes and then immediately returned. First message being, that's rough, buddy. 
The creep nerf has got us all feeling a bit down. It's good to see you. You bring the pork champs, I bring the memes. Sounds like your brain needs a reboot. Uh, reboot? Try turning it off and on again. Maybe that will fix things. <laughs> but it's reacted. It. But it said reply. What the? F it reacted to the image. I don't. Why? Who starts a sentence that's replying with reply? I feel like it's a human pretending to be an AI. I really think so. I don't think it's a bot. No. It just doesn't make sense for this to be a bot. What's going on, Rushi? Loco, I sent you a one minute surprise that's StarCraft related. One minute surprise? That was my nick. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, Rushi, what Rushi sent me a video. Or sorry, an audio. Um, StarCraft 2 sneak peek. Okay, let's listen to it. Oh, this is your band? So Rushi TLDR, he's a band teacher, and apparently um, the kids have been learning StarCraft music. That's really cool, dude. This morning's rehearsal. Yo! That is awesome, man. That is really good. Yeah, it's a little rough in a couple places. I mean, it's probably rough to you. The only thing that sticks out to me is the, the guy with the solo at the start. Because that's the only thing that, like, you know, a noob's ears will probably pick up on. That's really cool, dude. That's really fun. I can imagine that's actually a lot of fun. I mean, you've been setting this up for, like, months, and then it finally comes together, and you actually, you know, get something that sounds pretty amazing. Oh, what if this is an elaborate ploy to get my channel bent? Yeah, dude. Rushy is gonna start a DMCA strike on my channel. There it is, guys. It's been nice knowing you all. Rushy links me a... a, a yeah, hi, yeah, yeah. He links me a clip. Got me, dude. GG. Okay, Blue, Blue, I am done. 24 hours on the bench. I'm sorry, I don't know if you're a human, I can't figure it out. 24 hours on the bench. I... <laughs> it just keeps going, I can't. I can't. Yeah, it's been going on for a while. When the league isn't for legends, when the residents aren't evil, when the duty doesn't call, when the cause isn't just, when the titans aren't falling, when the frames aren't for war, when the stars aren't for crafting. Wow. When the residents aren't evil. One of my favorite games, Evil Residents. It's, it's one of my favorite. Re evil, evil Residents 4 just came out, guys. I wasn't a huge fan of it, if I'm being honest, but. Jadon comments on his incredible fan service on ASL season 15, round of 16, spent nearly an hour seeing fans after game. Damn. I also took a picture with Jadon once upon a time. And I feel a little guilty. I don't know if I can ever find that. Hold up, I'm gonna grab my phone. I took a photo with Jadon right after he had lost the match. <laughs> I felt like a dick afterwards, but... I don't know, I had in my mind I was gonna take a picture with Jadon. And then he lost the series. I was like, Jadon! Jadon! He looks very sad in the picture. California? How am I gonna find this? Maybe- Oh, I found it! <laughs> Look out, Jadong's like, I want to get the f out of here, man. Get me off the stage. <clears throat> Anyways, bit rude. Yeah, but I didn't realize it was rude until afterwards, though. But yeah, you're right. That was a bit rude of me. Speaking of subs, smother the paws. Loco forever. Smother no the platforms. What, what the f <laughs> What did you just say? Smother the paws. 
Oof. Dude, I did some micro. Amazing. Didn't think it could be done. Loco, as an expert in English pronunciation, could you please say Worcester sauce? Easy, dude. Give me some heart ones. Worcestershire sauce. That's it. Nailed it. I think it's Worcestershire sauce. I think the official pronunciation is Worcestershire sauce. But I would like to coin the phrase Worcestershire sauce just to f with the British. <sighs> we don't really use that sauce all too much over here. How many times do you guys use Worcestershire sauce? Like some recipes call for it. I used to go to Scotland quite a bit, right? And they would quite literally just put Worcestershire sauce on top of like grilled cheese, like whatever. They would just put it on anything. And it actually tastes good. Like it has, a, but it, like we just don't mess around with it all too much over here. We use it on hamburgers. Yeah. Cheese and toast is really good. Yeah. Is this the same thing as the HP sauce? No. What is the HP sauce called again? Dark sauce? Black sauce? What do you call it? Brown sauce? Is it brown sauce? Anyways, what's in it? Vinegar, vinegar, anchovies, garlic, onion, molasses, sugar, salt. Mmm, sounds delicious. I love all of those. You guys don't have ranch either? No, we don't have ranch. <laughs> we don't. We do have this though. Doritos Cool American. It's a party pack. I'm not kidding. This is a thing you can just buy. This is a very, yeah, this is in every supermarket in the Netherlands. What's the nutrition score? Nutrition score is actually kind of clever. So this is within the category of potato chips. Doritos are apparently a C. So the idea is like, say you're at the supermarket and you look at all the shit that's going on, right? And you're like, I can't decide which one I want. Most people will gravitate more to like a better, higher ranking rather than the one that has an E or a D. Which is actually kind of clever. I actually like it. It's just obviously that the categorization can be a bit of a meme. <laughs> Roma <laughs> This is the new Romanian police car? Damn, dude. Romanian police boast new BMW cars? They don't mess around, man. That's what they needed. They needed this, okay? Dutch police actually drives Mercedes these days. Which I also find a little overkill for the, you know. Yeah, they drive, uh... There's your typical Dutch police car. <laughs> Dubai, they have Lambos. Right, but that's Dubai. All the taxis you saw in Austria were Mercedes. Most taxis in the Netherlands have been uh, Teslas over the last few years. It's been very, very popular. From what I understand, the superchargers around Amsterdam are a meme. Because basically you can't charge. Because it's all, it's all taxis. Do you do have Dutch police officers on, on bicycles? Yes. This is uh, very common in cities. They have the classic like motorcycles and, and cars and you know horses when they need it, but also bikes. Bikes are convenient, guys. Especially the electric ones. I think a lot of people don't realize how electric bicycles are, are actually kind of OP. They're basically like mopeds or like scooters. They're actually pretty fast. Like, um, yeah. It's much more maneuverable than uh, your average car. Basically, any Dutch person over like the age of 40 has an electric bicycle at this point. Electric bicycles are technically motorcycles. Unironically though, you have a lot of boomers that are going much faster on electric bicycles than they realize. Like you have a lot of 80 year olds that are going like 30 kilometers an hour on a bike and they don't seem to realize how fast they're going. It, it's actually kind of, uh, there, there's a lot of crashes. Yeah, they go pretty fast. Electric bikes, yeah, good electric bikes are like 2000 euro. So they're basically the, the cost of a car. Like if you want to go for like a cheap car, you, you yeah, it's basically the same price. But there's a lot of people in the Netherlands that don't own cars and that only have a bicycle. My dad, my dad used to be a police officer. He mentioned these. Apparently the Dutch police did drive around in Porsche back in the day. Now he's retired now, but um, apparently they had a really good time. They really enjoyed it. Are those missiles on the front? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. We have James Bond cars over here. You press the switch, suddenly you drop like one of those spider mine type of things. It's amazing. Those are quarter of a million cars. Are they really? Old Porsche 911s are quarter of a million dollars now? Who's out there buying them? <laughs> I never see these. I see the modern version of these, but like not the old versions. Yeah, I'm sure collectors, but like, 
Uh, the idea of buying a whole lot of cars and then not driving them is weird to me, okay? Is that your car, Loco? No, no, no. You paid more for your PC than for your car? That's good, dude. You got your priorities in check. I don't know. Those old cars are pretty sick, though. But I can only imagine it's such a massive headache to make sure they actually keep running. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I feel like maintenance is probably pretty insane. Although, to be f No way! No way he's gonna cannon rush me! Is he gonna cannon rush me? I am gonna call it a bluff. I will send one drone down just to entertain him. Ah, I called the bluff, chat. What's she building? Gallows? <laughs> it does kind of look like she's building gallows right now, chat. This is where, uh, yeah, we bring the citizens of the Stardew Valley that uh, do not cooperate. Look, we need a certain level of cooperation in order to uh, sustain life. That's where you go when you get timed out. Exactly. The gallows? That's where you go? You go to, I don't know, man. I say exactly, but I think, I don't know. Guys, I missed, I missed the festival thing. At the beach. Wait, Robin, what are you doing here? Yo, Robin. I was... I missed the jellies. This guy looks poor. Yeah. Very poor. Okay, hello there, Loco. You showed up at the perfect time. What's this? Robin, dude, she has multiple people. It's our special orders board. Robin and I built it from scratch. How is that possible? All you did was hold the nails. Cold out, dude. Cold out. Ignore her. I always do. She works all the way uh, throughout the night, man. If I wouldn't ignore her, I can't sleep. You see, with Boomer Farm back in business, the local economy, or the loco economy, <laughs> Has really been picking up. As a result, some of the local, or the loco, sorry, have been asking me for a way to source local <laughs> uh, ingredients for their businesses or personal projects. Okay, Robert and I came up with the idea of a new special orders board where people can post bigger jobs than we. Okay, hashtag support your locos. For example, I plan on requesting some hardwood. Okay, Robin, you maybe should talk to Demetrius about that. I don't know. I won't put you on the spot. Robin, Robin, with Lewis right there, I mean, but if you want to help me out, you can just accept the job, okay? Who knows, maybe if the bet turns out well, I'll start selling them in my shop. I look forward to helping. I thought so. I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Loco. All right, Lewis. Lewis, who loses his pants, by the way, at Marnie's place. I'm sure you're busy, so we won't keep you any longer. <sighs> okay, well, uh, that was a conversation. Marnie! I need to be able to go into your bedroom to retrieve the pants! My nephew Shane has been staying at my place the last few months. Okay. Don't care. I'm just here to help out the mayor. Chet GPT is writing your memoir? Wait, you just asked ChatGPT to write my memoir, Meerkats? Please share it. I Face Tank. It's a captivating memoir written by Loco TV, one of the most famous Twitch streamers of our time. This book takes you on the journey of a gamer's life from learning the ways of the virtual world to becoming one of the most successful gamers. Through vivid descriptions and memorable anecdotes, Loco TV invites the reader to share in his journey and experience the joys and struggles of a content creator in the digital age. Join us as we explore the mind of a gamer and witness what it takes to become one of the greats. Yo, this is really great for my ego. This is, that is the, the most, the, oh my god, this is great. I'm excited. It's gonna be like eight chapters about old school RuneScape. <laughs> you think you want to read it, chat, but you don't. It's just gonna be on and on and on about RuneScape. You're like, God, man. The last 12 years of your life have been RuneScape. Is there more? And yes, it keeps going. If you make online content, being just on one platform. If you make a living out of it, bad idea. Hey. What's up, man? Oh, sh what the f Hello. I do not remember you. Okay, he hurts. What the 
How was there a dragon of Arch Dragon Peak? That makes no sense. Oh, I remember. I think I remember. I have to climb something. I have to climb a thing. Because I don't think I can actually hurt him. Well, I can hurt him a little bit. I think I'm supposed to... Fall? Dragons. Dragon these no no. No 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 no. We have to do something here. Well, this is the end of the road. Uh notice those notes over there. I think that's players saying try plunging attack. Weakness head. Plunging attack. Yep, there it is. <laughs> this is such a silly fight. So this is the bonus area of uh, the main game. That's your weakness too? Yeah. Plunging attack on head? It's a bit weird actually. 